Hello and welcome everyone to another Mind Colonies Let's Play with the Developers. My name is Raycoms and we're here in our neat little Patreon server. I'm here with Sam Letters as always. No, I'm not here. Yes, Sam Letters is also here even though he's a bit shy. Um, we did just launch an update report. Let me just merge my branch as well. So that those changes are going to actually going to to curse <laughs> um, it's a few of the things are 115 yet so you might have to wait a little bit until it launches in 116 but that should be mostly done tomorrow or Sunday um, I'm going to give a hi to everyone as well so it's hi John hi Greypeld hi chef thanks a lot for the fourth consecutive consecutive subscription thanks hi ninja and mimey hi channelies ross how are you guys doing um i've been busy merging a bunch of uh things around to 116 and 116.2 like any time uh, which was tons of funds as always. <laughs> um, so you'll get to merge a bunch more on the weekend. Um, I I did f finish the big uh, like all of them basically. So only the new the two new ones that emerged today are missing. Yeah, you can use the Yildas tree here definitely. And um, the upcoming ones. Yeah, and the upcoming ones. There is this as well. Yes, but. Um, especially I got these structurized things merged for the faster lo login times. I'm still not really used to it. I'm still like, okay, I'm starting Minecraft up, I'm starting OBS, and then like, ah, I'm going to click login, I'm going to need another minute. But it's actually loading quickly now, so that is pretty cool to see that. Um, actually, the reason why it was loading slowly was like... Because we use a forge call to get the resource from a resource location. Like to get a resource from within Minecraft. But that specific call goes over all mod chars and opens the file handler for them. So if you have a hundred mod for each um, mod resource, we do a hundred of these calls. Which is why this was so slow. <laughs> Hi Laurie, how are you doing? So that... Yeah, it's kind of blame Forge, but that was because we didn't check into what this call does specifically. Um, however, that is now fixed. We're doing basically now manual for one specific mod that call, because we only need it for one mod. While this call is more done when you... Not sure which mod has it, I think. Yeah, I heard it witch around there too. Uh, however, that is actually now fixed. And I did merge it to 116 as well. And 116.2, so that is also nice. Now, where is this... Where is this darn witch? I'm hearing it around here. What's it today, Van? Witchy witch, where is it? I'm hearing your nasty laughter. But where is that witch? Huh. It's hiding. Hiding. Yeah. Maybe it drank some invisibility potion. <laughs> Do they do this? <laughs> Not sure. Not uh, sure. Some wandering traders do it, so maybe. Yeah, wandering traders do it, but I think witches don't. As far as I know, at least. <laughs> Who knows? I wonder if they're not... I think they're inside some kind of empty space somewhere. That's fine, then. I guess they're kind of a wall here. So I guess that's fine. Only the nasty laughter. Uh, so let's check on our builders again. 
and we do hope that we're going to get the server updated with the fixes from today um, where a, a bunch of rather important ones I think people are going to appreciate a lot with that. Um, lime wool she wanted so I can I can help you with that Stop stealing citizen lines <laughs> I'm stronger than any man. <laughs> um, yeah, we need that dyer. Yes. Um, lime wool. There. Chuk. Here. Then we take some white wool. Now, do we have any lime dye here? Lime dye eighteen. That's quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. That was a green dye. This is lime dye. Okay. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Making a bunch of them. So maybe a few more. I need to make all of them, all of them. Perfect. 48. Now we got a bunch of them here. That should be good enough. <sighs> Hi, crazy gnome king. How are you doing? What I just noticed... Ah, we hit the 600 followers now. We had 603 now. Yay, so we, we are famous now. We're famous now, yeah, super mega famous. We got a few followers since the stream, so. Um. And welcome Water Buffalo as well to our 604 follower. Highly appreciated. If you want to support the channel, always don't forget to hit the, the follow button. And not only helps helps the channel, because what helps the channel also helps our mod to grow, and I think that is in all our interest. Um, unless you have a competing mod, and then I completely understand why you wouldn't follow our channel, because our mod is just too awesome. Can't touch this. Um, let me check on the other builders. She should be fine now, although I'm a bit worried that her request is cancelled now. Is not cancelled now, I mean. What's it today then? I thought so. Should? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Here and there I'm trying to squeeze the stream message together with the add update message to get some fresh blood from Discord over as well. Because a lot of people don't know actually that we're streaming, uh, but we don't want to harass them all the time. Did I mess up? Dark oak. Are we out of dark oak logs? Let me double check that. Because we have a lot of dark oak close by here, so that would be a quick thing to get. Dark. Yeah, not enough. So let me get an axe. Get some diamonds. Get a diamond axe there a little bit faster. <laughs> that that was the melody I was having in my head, definitely. <laughs> um yeah. Even out of develop, even things that are not in development anymore. Uh, I think we've grown big enough to say that we are definitely bi the biggest entity mod. I think that we can. No wrong axe. <laughs> ah, the other one, not the pickaxe. <laughs> and I was running in the wrong direction too. 
That was just a universal failure. Okay. Here. Diamond. On the other side of the wall. Three diamonds. Now, the right eggs, Ray. Don't forget it. We can do this. Yes. Like the only big entity mods that there are would be probably ancient warfare warfare um minecraft comes alive um millionaire and tectopia i would say those are then the and maybe the rats thingy yeah rats there are still there's a sheep mod as well but it's they're, they don't have it's like all these mods like even not considering even if they were not dead even if there are people developing on it still there is like not even close in terms of the amount of different professions and uh, research and all kinds of different possibilities there are um, it's because it's 115 there is no tinkers in 115 else we pr probably I probably would have just suggested tinkers over silent games because I think silent games is super OP unbalanced besides yeah, all the besides all the you have to get oh weird I think I'm inside another colony here is that possible yeah it should be not sure, because I can't cut things on this side of the tree, so there must be some Try kind of... with a different tool. Oh, weird. I what? think that's the uh, world edit thingy, which has special behavior for axes or leaves or so. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Talking about nasty behavior. Nah. So, trying to jump up here. Done. Getting it all. Uh. This is giving me a little bit of agony. Who would do something like this? Just, just to bother me. Is that death? <laughs> just, just to bother me. Yeah, only for you, sir. I, I do like Tetra a lot, but I think it's at the moment at least a little bit uh, overly complex. Like there is too much competition on that market. Like I know that Mine Colonies is very complex, and I shouldn't complain about other mods' complexities because. We are king on that area, but that mod, like for being a tool mod, it is very complex. What okay. I kind of don't like, don't like, is that you like it emphasizes on um, spending time inside the uh, crafting UI. And it's something I don't like about Minecraft in general. That often you end up a ton of time just standing there crafting stuff in the UI. Yeah, that that's even worse. that's what we have a uh, workers for, right? <laughs> it's it's uh, also what you see when you watch most Minecraft streamers. They are crafting some fancy machines or so. They are spending like oh wow, yes. If you if if you watch the it. the tech streamers right. like Direwolf, yeah. definitely they spend half of their time. In yeah, uh, refined you storage. The game. You, you only see the crafty UI. Half, <laughs> half of the time in refined right. storage, just moving around, but uh, things in a small yeah. UI. Definitely. Do, do, do. That's Here. why I like uh, Tinker's more immersive approach for like you got a big smeltery, you can smell stuff into forms and yeah. such and then you just that one I, I, that is nice. I always like that that approach a lot of smelting the things into into the into the right shames. Yeah, it's much more immersive.
Tu, tu, tu. Now we came back with a few stacks. Wait, what happened here? Closing off again. Yay, fortune finished. And she's now working on the archery level. Uh, the next archery level, which is going to be super important because that unlocks a bunch of research. Um, here, dark oak, dark oak, dark oak, teenies, spruce blanks. Maybe I take a few of those spruce blanks. Some apples, I think that's fine. Yeah, one one thing I notice about tech streamers, but that's I think mostly that's very tech in general, that people are unable to play a mod pack without one specific tech mod. Yeah, they kinda rely heavily on it and uh, don't want to play without. But it's also kinda it always is the same thing then as well. It's like Okay, we set up refined storage, then we set up a bunch of auto crafting mods, then we set up uh, solar panels and... Yeah, they kind of always want the same base automate automation to not do stuff themselves anymore. Yeah. Chup, chup, chup. The archery level 3 is going to have bads as well, that's nice. That's going to, I think that was like expensive as hell again. 990 cut sand. It's not so expensive actually, no. I comp complained without a reason on this one. That one is fairly affordable. Um, how would it work? How difficult it would be for knights to use horses? Very difficult. What? Did you deliver all the things the university needs? Yes. Wow, very diligent today, Sam Letters. Very diligent. Uh, I did most actually last stream and just had some you know, special stuff left on <laughs> I put, like redstone things and stuff. It's making a guard sit on a horse and making it walk to a certain place and making the guard fight from it would probably be Why not very difficult. Started. The difficult pa part is that horses don't path like citizens. Like citizens path on a one, one by one square that is too high. That's it. And we just have to check if the next spot we walk in can be reached from this one here. That means that one has to be too high and the floor and the ceiling can't be too low such that we hit our head. That is basically... Yeah. Roughly simplified what we do with a citizen. Now the problem right. is with a horse We have to do a two by two space, right? We have to do Unless two by two like and some fake horse Which looks like a horse <laughs> and uh, Fits and into a one by one block space. Yeah <laughs> And it would be three high, right? And kind of even a fake horse would have to be three high, because we wouldn't because else the citizens would die with their heads into, in walls. I was thinking of lowering uh, the citizen sit box as well. Yeah, but still on the horse, your head is always in the in the ceiling. Yeah, not if your hitbox isn't in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, but then the hitbox has to be very low for that to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was gonna. At, gonna uh, yeah, dwarves and ponies. Dwarves and ponies. They, those might work. Yes. Yeah. And yes, the requirement for the for the head block hitting your head would also move another block in front, right? Because of the oh. the length of the horse, right? Yeah, You're still why standing. I've been thinking about just completely faking it. Because then we don't run into any issues. <laughs> <laughs> At least not these issues. Yeah. We, we do have our own custom pathing system completely already. There's... N besides the m motion... 
like they're actually walking there's not a lot of vanilla stuff we use anymore like our approach is based on vanilla but there's not a lot of vanilla left in it i would say not, not much um to do going to upgrade this here too so i can click build on the combat academy now um however yeah that it would be a bunch of work probably making a hacky workaround like uh, sam suggested is probably the easiest way yeah i think so what I thought ah, I just started Combat Academy, I didn't finish it. Choo -choo -choo. Yay! He got his resources. Oh, he was stuck for a long time waiting for those. And I checked the last episode for his request and I thought, ah, he has everything. But it's because I didn't scroll to the end where it said uh, play a resolver for the logs. Yeah, it would be nice if those were. Um, yes, yeah, mounted archers and guard and knights are definitely, definitely a plan. Together with a staple building, where basically like the amount of forces your colony can have depends yeah. on the staple, right? You can have one per stable level, and then you can say which... Uh, Guards, you want to use horses from a stable, right? Of course, we need a uh, stable, like great as with horses as well. Yes, we would have uh, raiders with horses. We could have raiders with horses as well. Yes. Um. Oh, nice. That sounds good, John. Yeah, Mongols, um, like the North, Am the native North Americans would probably be good on a horse as well. Um, about the extra combat system, uh, that is planned. That is actually on the plan to make m much more complex and player. Colony versus colony war types. Yeah. My general plan is still to do it like the first in the the first part of it would be using vanilla villages, kinda as economy thing. Yeah. Uh, kinda as an economy thing, so that you can place a guard tower, like not a guard tower, military buildings in a vanilla village, if you have enough guards with you. These guards will then move in in, in this vanilla village. Um, those guards are going to be missing on your colony though then. Um, and while you're doing that, you're going to get collect taxes from that village. However, another player can come along with their guards and if they have more guards than you have, they can then kill your guards at that colony. At that... Um, outpost, probably the better word. And then they would take over ov over the colony and collect the taxes. Uh, the outpost and collect the taxes. So that was the general idea for the first part of the colony versus colony warring system. Um, the next part, uh, I am thinking about having it similar to the Settlers 2. And timeline next year. Somewhat next year timeline. Is it like no guarantees, <laughs> all rights reserved, trademark <laughs> next year. TM. TM, yes. Um, um, the next parts of it would then be 
a system which I'm envisioning similar to the Settlers 2. Like, I want to avoid eliminating colonies completely. Because I think that is... Not as interesting. Because then there is no... Co villages. Uh, oh, colonies. I don't colonies. Like colonies. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, I don't want to allow a player to completely level another colony. So, well, ra that be possible. so rather my idea in general is that again you come with guards to another colony um, and then you can go to a guard tower of a colony. I'm going to give you an example. Um, you go then to a guard tower in the colony like that one here and then you would go here with your guards, kill the guards assigned to this guard tower and then slowly you would be taking over the guard tower like kinda like those capture the flag things right and like and after some time standing here with your guards you're still defending against the other colony attacking you right you would then uh, take over the guard tower and with it take over the buildings within the claim of the guard tower so you would get the farm of the other colony and the uh, what is this? Now this is here the farm, the shepherd, the cowboy, and the composter here, for example, right? You would take over these, and the workers there would continue producing their stuff, but now you would get that stuff, right? And if you destroy the guard tower, the player is going to get the stuff back, right? And if you lose the guard tower because the player is going to continuously trying to attack the guard tower he is going to get uh, his stuff back then as well yeah and the general idea is that your town hall minimum range basically is the minimum range where you can't lose your claim yeah so you can't choose lose all at once so you're not going to lose all your colony but you're going to have a big incentive leveling up your town hall because the minimum claim range of the town hall increases right yeah yeah, um, yeah like satellite colonies and since there is also the economy system you would get taxes of those citizens that you that you conquered right yeah building the warehouse would probably make sense to be within the claim as well as at least a builder, right? Those are things that you would want at least within your claim then. But yes, that would make kinda... That was kinda the general idea I had. Where you have kinda balance between... Um, you have the options to do PvP, but it's not something that kinda wipes out the colony of another player and the player has to start over. Because colonies are a lot of work to get done, right? Welcome Lou Hiji to the stream. Oh, but you can take over all the you can you're going to be able to take over the barracks as well. But uh, you, the barracks claim is just not going to extend. So all military buildings can be claimed. Basically. Yeah. But that would also then make things more interesting to... Uh, yeah. I'm going to ask another player to come help me. <laughs> and... Since, like, of course, you're not going to want to stay there with too many guards in the other colony for forever. Because that's going to cost you a lot of time. But... You're going to get a bunch of resources and taxes and different kinds of prices, right? Yeah, what can and I maybe do for you? a colony which lost stuff also loses taxes. Yeah. Um, my favorite colony style, that is difficult. I do like basically all of them. Um, 
different colony styles for different biomes and settings. I would. Oh, no, I didn't. I want to go to the sawmill. Yeah, it makes it easier to attack the attacker as well. Um, and of, of course, people would try definitely to stay within the minimum boundaries. And if you stay within the, within the minimum boundaries, you're fine. That's okay. But good luck putting a whole colony into it. But of course, for once, good luck putting a whole colony in it. But also, um, it, it limits you a certain degree, and there will be like advant other advantages in the future to expand your colony further, because you're going to get more taxes and all these kinds of things, right? Sawmill, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> focus, Ray, focus, I can do this. I don't think you can. I just got twice... <laughs> Uh, distracted trying to uh, go to the sawmill. I'm going to teach a few others too while I'm here. Cactus door, here's the cactus door. Yeah, that should be all now. Can put this cactus now in the in the warehouse, and we should be fine. But yeah, there, there's going to be other incentives as well to do that. Could, for example, if you if you get a, a, a university, you it's another second place where research can happen in parallel, right, or something like this. Or you could have a random chance to unlock a research you don't have yet. That is unlocked and they conquered university or so. By the way, did we unlock our rails research yet? No. Oh my god. No. Did we want to go on? It's because getting. Uh, I was like too lazy because iron is expensive. <laughs> oh wow, there's some progress here. This is all we now sandstone here in the, in the university. Very nice. But we do have our wealth research unlocked. We do. Yes. And Tinty Tuts, thanks a lot for your sub ways. as well. Uh, players that speedrun through mods. Usually, that's exactly why we are very strongly against cu against custom styles. That's exactly why we don't allow people to just use anything as a builder hut. Like there is some, there were some people lately trying to discuss with us like, I want to build my own builder hut and then smack builder level 5 on it. And it's like, no, that's going to destroy all the gameplay we have planned, right? Yeah. Um, like the Building economy... costs out of where you can't just leave out yeah. Hi, Tinty Tods. Yes, <laughs> welcome. Ah, a minimum an amount of how many recipes are. That is. That sounds like it's something you should make a feature request on GitHub for. <laughs> what? Stolen property returned to Fujin. That's Fujin's bow. But yes, I do. I do support that idea. I think someone should implement that. It sounds nice to have the amount of recipes that you can have total in the building displayed in the GUI of the crafter. I w I would rather have the slot box to implement. It's a bit more complex. But I think it would be very nice. Add a book system. Yeah, where you have like, for example, two inventory slots in a hut. Where you can put two recipe books into. And recipe books you can either craft yourself and put recipes in. Or can find in dungeons or so with maybe 
battery types or non vanilla types and such. Then you got to choose which types you can fit into it. Or if you maybe need a second building of the type as well. Yeah, I, I thought about having maybe a, a tandem system or so where you have like the recipes but you can also put recipe books which would then be like special recipes or recipe sets. Yeah, I was just thinking on combining them. Like you can write your own books and put your own recipes into the book and it's, it's just safe there. Then, can, then you can also easily like uh, switch recipes between buildings because then yeah. you just need to switch the items and you can find like specialized books with special recipes as well the, the only problem of this is it. is like how to limit the amount of recipes a building can have right then you can like add an infinite amount of recipes to one book no no books should have some restricted amount. Mm. And uh, I, I'd say like a normal level 1 for example has one book slot and on level 3 it gets, gets a second or something like that. Yeah, that would be possible. No, I we don't have a baker yet. Um, I did find out why the baker wasn't producing bread for some people um, that you is that is because he was eating it yes but I mean <laughs> why he was eating it it's because at each step of producing the, the, the bread he was reducing his saturation at the highest saturation decreaser which is like three times right per bread which is more than a bread gives in saturation <laughs> so he got so hungry making bread that he ate all bread yes i mean honestly no offense to any bakers but i have seen a few bakers already that look so hungry that they might have eaten <laughs> yeah. so much bread <laughs> but that is definitely not the the sense behind getting a baker in your colony You're Don't fine. Put a roof over my yes. head. Cactus doors are incoming. So that one is now finished. Um, I also did figure out why builders were getting stuck today. So I was like building it, and people were saying it's always at the lantern step. It's so I was like, no, it's not at the lantern step. Don't it is actually at the um. What is the name at the placeholder? Um, item frame step. Item frame step, especially. Ah. It's because the item frames are treated differently in Minecraft. They're entities and not tile entities. And what happened was that the system in the builder that counts how many resources are needed. That system has a callback to decrease the amount while he's building. Like at the moment, unfortunately, she's not building, but we can check maybe at Avery to give you a more colorful example. Running, running, running. So, Avery is currently building. And if we see the right resource, it is probably decreasing somewhere. Are you building Avery? So how it is. Work? So some of, one of these resources is decreasing. So those resources are decreased per successful execution. However, that only is for blocks. So for the pressure plates, this didn't happen. So th then it was like very particular. So if they are two batches of item he needs and he doesn't have enough items of the type he's trying to request he is going to go in the he's going to get stuck in the request so he, 
basically what happened is then he decreased, he placed two item frames. He or she placed two item frames. And then went back to the hut to check what they need. And then the hut said, I need 22, uh, 24 item frames. And the callback was never called to decrease the two. So for the total of 24, it was still 24 instead of 22. <laughs> And confusing the builder and making the builder recalculate the entire list again because like no something is wrong here I, I have to recalculate the list and that basically got them stuck then and that's why it also got fixed by restarting because then the builder would place this all in one batch only and then have enough, uh, it would recalculate first, and then it would be all in one batch, such that the recalculation doesn't happen in between the placement of two item frames, basically. So that is... That's, that's how it happened. And that is fixed now, so that's great. I wanted to actually check how far our combat academy research is. But it was quite nasty to... Yeah, it is, it is quite complicated, that's why I hadn't uh, figured it out. The fix was quite easy, but f figuring out what the problem was, was relatively complicated. So. Nah, I broke it. I broke it. I take the blame. Or, yeah, didn't break it actually. I no, I didn't account for it. It's probably the better. Where do we want to place our whales? Oh, what? Our Minecraft whales. Uh, our rails. Yeah. Probably above the path. <clears throat> Like, what I mean is like, wait. Like this, you know? Th that is a bit ugly, but I mean in general like this. Isn't there... Like this? Yes. Isn't there... A, I think there was a decoration of John for that. Um, decoration, space wars. That was infrastructure. Isn't that weird? Huh? Isn't that weird? Infrastructure. Ah, leg. No, it was rails, space wars, um, overground. Oh yeah, we're having some weird lag spikes at the moment with uh, with structure eyes. That's strange. Let me see. Uh, check your memory, memory usage. Maybe we edit, edit some kind of memory leak. No, it's not. Aren't there any float floating ones? No, no floating ones. But I, wa I want floating ones, I think. I think floating ones are too <laughs> Like this, I don't know. No, that's a bit too low. Mm. Would be more like this. I think that would be a good height. Would look very weird when you have citizens going left and right and so on. I think it's it's like a achterbahn. <laughs> uh, it's like a roller coaster. You mean? And it would be yeah. out of sandstone and not out of wood. Um, yeah. Let's do. I don't have any sandstone with me. I have some. Let me. I think we can't place rails, unfortunately, um, 
on slabs, right? No, I can't. They're going to use like cut sandstone. And more cut sandstone. Like I would potentially do it like this. Ah, you can place it on top slabs. Then I would do it on yeah, top, top slabs. Then I would do it on top slabs. <laughs> Did I just mine exactly that one you fell down from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that was kind of lucky. Completely unintentional too. Okay, okay, where's my crafty thingy? Here. I'm having some weird lag issues, but that is because of something. Not the render anymore. Got sandstone. What does... What is up here? What does HTOP say? Memory is at 13 gig. Let's see if there's any... No, I don't have any IDEs open anymore. Minecraft's memory is at 13 gigabytes? No, no, my total memory oh. usage in my computer. <laughs> Just Minecraft 13 gigabytes? Oh, maybe the time. Could be, could be lag to the server. Yeah, that, that is, <sighs> that's just typical, Ray. <coughs> Wrong half slaps. I want the upper ones. On the two craft, craft lower, lower slaps, that's bad. <laughs> you have to craft the upper slaps. Yeah, yeah, you have to craft the upper slaps, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. So that that's how that's how I would do that. Okay. And here and there with a staircase upstairs. Try. It doesn't have to be in the middle. Maybe it would look nice at the corner only as well. Um Yeah, we can make some left corner also. Yeah, yeah, maybe on the in the corner is going to look nicer than in the in the middle. Chuk chuk, toot toot. I think one higher, or and that's fine actually. I would say, or should it be one yeah. higher? Yeah, that's fine. I think it's fine, right? We could use quartz slabs as well. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would like quartz slab because that looks very fancy for Space Wars. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we have a lot of quartz. We don't. We have 500 quartz. That's not enough. <laughs> Too expensive? <laughs> How many mini at how many milliseconds? I'm at sixty one. Yeah, that's not so good. What is Sam letters? Forty one. That's better. Yeah, mine's fine. But sixty one is fine as well. Yeah, sixty one is if fine. If you go above three hundred or so, then you got some issues. Um Ninja is at two around two hundred is nasty already as well. Chip, chip, chip. Then like this. Um, <sighs> yeah. Wait. Fail. It's like this. I'm probably like with her. Unfortunately, rails you can't decline nicely. It's kind of caved. Uh. You could use those pr places then um, instead as the pillars. Um, and pillar them down then here. Chuk chuk chuk. 
Where's my OP pickaxe? Can do that, yeah. Here. I guess we need some pillars, or else it looks very stupid. Yeah, yeah. We need some pillar anyway. pillars anyway. And better not floating pillars. Then. Yeah, I think that looks reasonable. Kind of makes the the rails kind of dominant as well in the colony, which is nice. Yeah, I can't walk under that. I just can't ch jump because that's... But we can jump in the middle around it, so that's fine. Yeah. Oh, the newest update. I th I'm not sure if I mentioned that. We have now a data pack addition for pathing blocks. So that in your own mod pack you can now configure things specifically which blocks you want colonists to consider as paths. I like that. I like how that looks. That looks nice. That step. Um, now the question I have is how are we going to make things going left? Uh, probably just like we used to. And then we have like here four blocks without rails. So those four here can't have rails, by the way. Why not? Yeah, because that's a junction. No, yeah. that doesn't work well. Why not? Yeah, because the minecart is going to follow the mass straight. We have uh, to. We are using that minecart code. Yeah. God damn it! I thought we had nicer minecarts. Which kind of it. No. Wait, you're lazy. I am. Of course I am. <laughs> I'm always going the the path of the lowest resistance, and this was the path of the lowest resistance. Then I'm making the main path of the junction go through and uh, then main no no don't through. don't make it make it oh. like this else they're going to continue riding and then notice they're bad and they're going to then walk back so this also works but they can sometimes get stuck so it's better to have <laughs> this <laughs> well, we need we need places for to torches fix, anyway uh, minecart passing uh, I need torches. Don't I have any torches Can I do this? With me? No. Can I do this? No. Can I do this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Works a bit. <laughs> What's that? Tick, tick, tick. Um. Chim, chim, chim. I want to get some sandstone. There we go. Need to craft it from scratch. I think all sandstone slab are equal, right? There, uh, I think smooth stone has extra slabs. We got uh, cut sandstone slabs. They look a bit different. No, I think are they cut sandstone slabs? Yeah. Yes, they are. I like those then. That's what I have been using. Chip, chip, chip. Cut sands on slabs. There we go. Yeah, we need to put uh, stairs at those intersections too. Yes. Jim. Are there cut sands on stairs too? No, yeah. those are normal sands no, on stairs. Normal. No. But I made some from cut sands too. <laughs> Tito. <laughs> And welcome too bad too fast to our stream. I think that's I think that's a nice juncture. Calling me lazy and making floating pillars here. Well I'm lazy too. <laughs> <laughs> but your your bike card passing is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going to go here. 
Um, by the way, did we finish mm -hmm. the stat, stat system mm -hmm. stuff yet? Mm -hmm. What do you mean with the stat system stuff? Like um, transitioning all our workers from levels to stats. Yes. Mm. Oh, nice. That that is finished. Um, the only thing that's missing for our first release is now some fixing. Yeah, and we probably should remove the levels on the on the hot UIs. Yeah, probably yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Wondered if we could uh, display just the uh, the symbols of the levels with the levels there. That should work. That's quite the icons. Sure. I think that's yeah. that could be a neat idea. Um, do you want this here to go on here? So this here has to be like this too. Great. Doom doom doom. This goes over here and over. Wait, no, that doesn't work. That's a level 5 warehouse, so actually, it does work. You can just mine this here away. Works. Yeah, I guess that the pyramids are going to get a bit higher. Yes, I saw that in the preview in the beginning when we checked out the uh, higher levels of the warehouse. Chip. Move it. Okay. Um, this one here is going to be a column as well. There we go. And I wanted to deconstruct this demon as well to move it one over to the side. We want this to move one over in this direction here. Um, because, yeah, we want the three big path here, obviously. Mm, I think I can use... Uh, maybe here, better, yes. Um, here, one. So, great. So that works. Uh, probably is going to deconstruct the path here. No, maybe actually, not probably. And how many people there are in the mine colonies team? Phew. That is a good question. 20, 30, something like that. Um. Probably a better question is how many active people there are on the Mine Colonies team. Yeah, but I'd say hey, maybe 10. Then I would say probably around 10. Yeah. That is the easiest question. <laughs> Wait. Can I make this like here going up and down? Then that column here is kind of failed. I want it here. Choo, choo, choo. There we go. Dim, dim, dim. It went to minus again, but it's it went to minus for a long time or for a short moment. Yeah, we have some very creative people grading uh, the buildings, yes. Yeah, we got some very, very, very good builders. And it took it took us a long while as well. We were yeah, a long time... We been building it and... First we had... Luna came, came along and couldn't stand it anymore, so... At first we had a long time stuck with Peter grading all the buildings. Was that uh, the one with 
uh, putting the monster eggs in. Yes, yes. Who always put monster eggs in the buildings. That's nice. <laughs> um, I think you're going to finish it here, and then we can just go already, already down. After Peter... Um, it was then me taking care of it, mostly. And th thank God I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. Because it takes a lot of time to do that. I did it once for the turban. And that was with an already finished building and took like five, six hours. Yeah, it takes a long time. And that was basically time I couldn't develop, right? Um, then we got Luna, finally. Uh, we had some other people uh, helping out here and there. But it really started really going off when we then had Luna taking care of things. That's when things then actually took off. Yeah. And then also Erevan and Kugo joined in more regularly. And now we have a nice team of people taking care of it, uh, the things. Uh, and John as well, of course. Chuk. No, I don't have enough slaps with me. I Thank got you. some. Wait. We gotta sleep. Slaps! So. Um, Luna is, for once, she is doing a lot of things around the desert, wooden, uh, sandstone, Etc. styles, so like kind of mixing a lot in a lot of the styles. But the, the style she created completely or mostly herself is the Nordic style. And the uh, Dwarven, right? And which one? Uh, ah, Dwarven, the Dwarven. Know. The Dwarven style she also made completely, yes. Sand. Yeah, there's no sand anymore there. Sand. Ah, it's over there. Choopy choopy choop. What? Now it's just trying to kid me. Ah, there's some. No, there's a smooth sandstone stairs. Sand. No, I'm pretty sure there's no sand here. Yeah, the preview is kind of often wrong. Not sure why that is. Oh wow, how much sponge do we have? I would say the sponge is definitely off. Yeah, from our fishermen. Yeah. Mechley, did you see the amount of sponge we are getting from the fishermen? I think that is a bit too much. I see in the stream. Couldn't see him yet. Some sometimes he is listening silently. So there is a chance that he's in the background, hearing like some annoying voice telling him stuff. Um, cut sandstone. Now we want some stairs. Yeah, there we go. Chup, chup, chup. Yeah, the farmer hut of the Nordic style looks pretty neat as well. Jim. We, how was his name? The the Swedish pilot we had that guy making a taiga style in in the past. 
until he completely ticked me off. Telling me to remove the Taiga style from the mod because he doesn't want to continue doing it. It's like, oh yeah, that's something that obviously works great. Yeah. Stairs in the middle of that run. Well, let me check that out. Here we have stairs. There. Then we have stairs here. That's fine. We got another set of stairs on this part. At the end of here. I think that's fine. I think that's fine in terms of stairs. But yeah, then we had to remove Taiga and Luna and John were setting together the Nordic style. And the Nordic style was born, basically. Uh, to avoid then these incompatibility issues, the Nordic style was then created with exactly the same footprint. Now it's kind of made it a little bit more challenging even to get it done. Yeah. Jim, Jim, Jim. I wonder if they are going to use those things at all. They're going to use. Kind of doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's because at the moment they're not leading. Oh, they're leading to they some are. areas over here. They are. We could need a bunch more stairs, though. Definitely. Yeah, but I'm not sure what our passing actually goes up here. Chup, chup, chup. May not. I'm going to make a platform here. Yeah. Meh. Fail. Okay. It shouldn't be too high. They shouldn't care about that. I'm thinking maybe our passing actually doesn't map upstairs enough. Because going up is like kinda a bit more costly. And so it likes going straight more. Yeah, but the the, the, the yeah the, the rails should be at yeah, they uh, are very cheap maybe cool. a star yeah might not like that so much. Maybe we should check into our fast finding rates a bit for it. Yeah. We could try like setting uh, waypoints. Uh, it's a uh, stairs on top. Wait a second. This here is kind of broken. Um, up here we can up up to here. We can do it, and With then waypoints. I should go up and then should use the rails. Yeah, if we put waypoints here. Here, yeah. like in those and, junctions, and all, all stairs, basically. that would work then. Chuk, chuk, chuk. There we go. Uh, welcome back, Odd. <laughs> yeah, we could we could have the ram. Let's try that instead of. Um, stairs. The ramps could be ra uh, rails as well. 
Cool. That would probably just work then. But yeah, I don't see them taking the, more them at the moment. Minutes. At the moment, let's try this out. Yeah. To here. That's the way we are out of sandstone. I'm using sand all the time already. Yeah. Getting um, quite low. Here. Let's then one lower. Like this. You have the rails, right? Yeah. It has to go to here. Ow. No. Yeah. That then work. That should work then. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a star wouldn't detect this here on the way. Or not. Probably. Quite sure that yeah, a star doesn't do it. Follow it long enough. Wait. Now it has to look good. It works, it's fine. <laughs> Still the space war style. At least at those points we should see them start going up. Because then A star will start going up and see, oh it's cheap here, let me do this. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if our D-man do that. It's pretty close to the warehouse. Oh, one demon seems to be stuck inside the warehouse. Um, <laughs> passing back, passing back. <laughs> oh yeah, those are always the the fun ones to fix. We got a back with letter passing. With Sam letter path passing. Why? Yeah. It's uh, trying to take it before it's completely on the ladder, so it doesn't get out of the slap below. And yeah, and I've seen that. Up against it. Yeah. Now it worked. It's because she wants to go already up and right, and goes right too early. Oh, some guards are using it. Yay! Okay. Helen is having fun now, I see. Say don't unmod for some reason. <laughs> hey, I get the feeling that mine can sound a little bit buggy. <laughs> that is weird. I wonder <laughs> if any mod in this mod pack alters minecart behavior somehow. Or it, maybe she was sleeping in the minecart, that would explain it. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm, I saw a researcher use... Stand back. <laughs> it's because I placed some rails there, and the path thing has still had that... the rails there. But some people are using it now, so that is now working. So we have to make it those ramps instead of um, stairs oh, nice. up. Nice stairs. Oh, stairs were so nice. They were nice, they were. Yeah, we have to do this. Chuk chuk. So, one here. And then one on the next. Uh, one on the next. Did I do this right? I don't think so. That should be also wrong. Wow. I'm the king of placing those wrong. <laughs> now this is right. And now this one is right as well. Great. So, 
Hey, maybe we should have a rail flat on the ground before as well. That would definitely help, yes. We could also just put our weights all down, then we got no issues. <laughs> but that's not as much fun. It doesn't look so great. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? And it looks great. So, here, wait. There we go. Damn, dim. So this here is done. This segment here we got the rails as well. Here we're missing it still. Top, top, top. Done. Uh, I just had started building this here around the corner. Jim, Jim, Jim. One and here it goes down. And welcome Shakama to the stream. Hi, how are you doing? Um here. We're currently setting up a rail system in our colony. Um just because we fancy it like this. We're in a futuristic colony setup anyway with space wars. Yeah, the intersections we're going to put ramps always, yes. Yeah, we're streaming for over three months now. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's for a little bit. Um, we stream both from our Patreon server here as well as from the Forgecraft server. Although not as often from Forgecraft, that is. Jim? Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> this. This. I'm out of rails. You're out of rails? That's bad news. Because we're not out of colony space yet. At least don't tell me you're out of... Um, iron. iron. Mm -hmm. That would be painful. You should have some... Yeah, Forgecraft is a death only server. Mm. It's going to be fun when the devs find out that they can't fly anymore to ev avoid <laughs> barbarian raids suddenly getting shut down and, and they only having to actually fight some damn it and uh, and that's their main way to to defend them because uh, I know that they only have 15 guards in a 50 people colony in a uh, 60 co people colony yeah, that's a bit few. I did I did tell them that on hard mode it should be at least 50-50. Yeah, 50-50 makes sense. In on normal mode I think you can you can do it with less. Yeah. But on hard I mode it got to be 50-50. I think at the moment you can even on hard mode do with less because Guards got buffed quite a lot. I know hardly anyone noticed, but they got very strong. Um, at least 15 is not enough. 
Um, probably with around 25 for his 60 people colony, he'd be fine, I would say. Yeah, we have some decent research and good equipment, that should work. Yeah, they have all <laughs> iron, they have all full iron and a bunch of research. Should probably give them uh, diamond swords and shields as well. I don't know if how they're on shields. Jim, I've been pretty lazy with my colony and on Fortcraft yet with the defenses. I did set up uh, some pretty epic walls, though. That I have to say. As usual, <laughs> your favorite task: building walls. No, but I, I have some really epic walls. Did you see them? Yeah. Those look good. Um, and th those are actually much better than the walls here. Yeah. I like some medieval style in general. Better than the space walls one. Um, that's probably Valhalla structures. Those castles. Mine colonies at this moment doesn't spawn structures in the world generation yet. But at, this, at this moment we have it planned. Yeah, pillagers can be can be nasty, I've heard. Oops. Thanks. <laughs> and Big Sack Big X has had one out. Yeah, well I just want to mine something a little bit. Oh wow, can you see this wish? Yeah, now the visual bug is gone. There was a neat visual bug there. Wait, right this here. Ah, oh, no, that can cause problems. I wanted to add here an additional one we wanted. Here is missing a ramp and. That's fine, but just a ramp would be nice. Um, like this. A ramp up here. And mine this. Done. Um, no, that that's Valhalla's, yeah, but it's just it's just a structure. It's just for visual. It's just nice looking. Let's say it like this. There's no real usage. There's some loot generated in it in the Valhalla structures. Yay! I'm seeing the delivery man coming up here. Yay! That's maybe a little bit too much of a ramp. Jim, jim, jim. But we do have some some plans on this. Well, shut down. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like a friend. Maybe I am. If your friend is doing a PhD in computer science, I don't know. Um, I'd say we use this as the end of the stream. It's we are in an hour and a half in already. Um, the server forced us to a shutdown, so let's take this as the break for today. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, don't forget to hit the follow button to be updated all of about all our streams. We stream uh, around five times a week at least, always around um, 10 UTC. Uh, no, wait. I didn't want to make the... I will just go to chat, yes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's stream. And I hope I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for engaging in the chat with us as always. Thanks for our newest subscriptions today as well. Thanks Tinty Tots and, Sh and Chef for their uh, continuous support. And to all our new uh, followers, 
I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everyone. See you around. Good night.